Hello friends, this video on unit and measurement part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exams. Please make sure that you watch part 1 and part 2 of unit and measurement before going ahead with part 3. Now, before we are able to solve questions related based on parallax method, it is very important that we are very clear with the units and their relationships. When we talk of measuring an angle, we should know the SI unit which is used for measuring the angle. So we talk of radian. Radian is a standard unit to measure angle. Now how do we define radian? It is defined as ratio between arc length and radius. That is ratio between the arc length and the radius. Now how do we define one radian? One radian is defined as one unit of arc length divided by one unit of radius. That means when the arc length is one unit and when the radius is one unit, then this angle is known as one radian. Clear? So now when I say that one radian is equal to one arc length by one radius, now in this complete circle, the complete circle would mean how many radians? Let us try to calculate that. For the complete circle, for the complete circle, the arc length would be 2 pi r. And the radius for the complete circle would be r. So this r and r will get cancelled. So for the complete circle, the complete circle corresponds to 2 pi radians. Clear? Okay. So now we will see some other units which we use here. The other units we use are, the first one is degree. How do we establish a relationship between degree and radians? As I told you, for a complete circle, there are how many degrees? For a complete circle, we have 360 degrees. And for a complete circle, we have 2 pi radians. So 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radians. Correct? So we get 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radian. There are other smaller units which we use to measure angle. One is arc minute. Now 1 degree is equal to 60 arc minutes. Now when we convert it into radians, we get it as 1.745 into 10 to the power minus 2 radians. There is yet another smaller unit that is arc second and one minute is equal to 60 arc seconds. So what are the relations we obtained for all the various units of angle? First is radian. So one degree is equal to pi by 180 radians and one degree is also equal to 60 arc minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 arc seconds. So if you remember this relation, you can convert any of the units to any other unit. So whenever we need to solve a numerical in SI unit, the first thing you need to do is you need to convert the angular measure to radians. Okay. So we'll have a quick review. Radian is a standard unit to measure angle. It is the ratio of arc length and radius. One radian is equal to one arc length by one radius. So for a complete circle, we have two pi radians. The other units and their relation, one degree is equal to pi by 180 radians. One degree is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Now let us look at an example problem. The moon is observed from two diametrically opposite points A and B on earth. Let us suppose this is the earth. 
and say this is the moon. Now the question says that the moon is observed from two diametrically opposite points on earth. The angle theta subtended at the moon by the two directions of observation is 1 degree 54 minutes. That means the angle which is subtended by these two points of observation. This angle comes out to be 1 degree 54 minutes. Given that the diameter of the earth is 1.276 into 10 to the power 7 meters. That means AB is equal to 1.276 into 10 to the power 7 meters. And theta is equal to 1 degree 54 minutes. Now compute the distance of the moon from the earth. Now distance of the moon from the earth that is this capital D. So you have to find out the value for capital D. Now as we already discussed before, this capital D comes out to be the basis and the basis here is AB divided by theta. Correct? Now before we solve this, we should convert the value of theta into radians. So let us try to do that. Theta is equal to 1 degree 54 minutes. Now, we convert this 54 minutes into degrees. So what do we get? We get 1 degree plus 0 0.9 degrees. How did we get 0 0.9 degrees? Because we converted this 54 minutes into degrees. We knew 60 minutes is equal to 1 degree. Therefore, 54 minutes would be equal to 54 by 60. That is equal to 0 0.9 degrees. So, let us look at an example problem now. The moon is observed from two diametrically opposite points A and B on earth. So, let us draw earth. See, this is the earth. And this is the moon. The problem says that moon is observed from two diametrically opposite points on the earth. So let us suppose these are the two diametrically opposite points A and B. The angle theta subtended at the moon by the two directions of observation is 1 degree 54 minutes. So this is the angle subtended by the direction from two different observation points. So this angle is 1 degree 54 minutes. Given the diameter of the earth is 1.276 into 10 to the power 7 meters. That means AB is the diameter which is given as 1.276 into 10 to the power 7 meters. So we have to find the distance of the moon from the earth. That means we have to find the value of D. As we studied in the previous slides that D is equal to basis and the basis here is AB. So basis divided by the angle theta. Now, before we go further, we have to convert theta into radians. So, let us do that. So, theta is at present 1 degree 54 minutes. First of all, let us convert this 54 minutes into degrees. We will do it here. We know that 60 minutes is equal to 1 degree. Therefore, 54 minutes would be equal to 54 by 60 that is equal to 0 0.9 degrees. Therefore, this theta will be equal to 1 degree plus 0 0.9 degrees. That
that is equal to 1.9 degrees. Now we have to convert this entire thing into radian. We know that 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radian. Therefore, 1.9 degree will be equal to 1.9 into pi divided by 180 which is equal to 0 0.0331 radian. Correct? Now we put the value of AB and theta in this equation and we get the value of D that is 1.276 into 10 to the power 7 divided by 0 0.0331 meters. So this comes out to be 38.5 into 10 to the power 7 meters. So therefore this is the distance of the moon from the earth. So now is it clear for you? So whenever we need to measure a distance of a very far off object we use this relation which is derived using the parallax method and before using the formula we should always remember that the units in which we are dealing should be in the same SI unit. That is whatever theta is given it should be converted to radians and only then the formula has to be used. Okay, so till now we discussed how do we measure lengths. Now we will discuss the range of lengths. There are certain special units which we employ to measure very large lengths as well as very small lengths. For example, for extremely small lengths, we have some special units like Fermi and Angstrom. The relation is 1 Fermi is equal to 10 to the power minus 15 meter and 1 Angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meters. Just remember this relation because they, they can help you in conversion in certain numerical problems. Similarly, for extremely large lengths, we use units like astronomical unit and light year. What is astronomical unit? This unit is defined as the distance between the sun and the earth. So you can imagine how big lengths it is talking about. This astronomical unit is the distance between sun and earth and its value is approximated as 1.496 into 10 to the power 11 meters. The other unit is the light year that is the distance which light travels in one year and it is approximated as 9.46 into 10 to the power 15 meters. So for very small lengths we use units like Fermi and Angstrom. For extremely large lengths, we use units like astronomical unit and light year. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.